In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a Bluetooth cycling helmet. Yes, a Bluetooth cycling helmet. So this was sent to me quite a while ago to review on my channel, and I've been using it for quite a while, and I want to get my thoughts on it. So this helmet has speakers right above your ears, so right here. Then it's got some controls on the front of the helmet inside. So the center button does play and pause. It also answers and hangs up phone calls. Then it's got arrows on each side of that center button, which will turn up the volume by tapping them up or down the volume. And then if you want to skip forward in your music, you can hold this down for about two seconds. And to skip backwards, you would hold what's gonna be the left arrow if you're wearing the helmet. What's also kind of cool about this helmet is there are some blinking lights on the back. So I'm gonna turn the helmet on. So I'm gonna hold this down for oh, it's about three or four seconds. You'll hear it say power on. Power on. And then it's gonna to connect to my phone. Connected. So it says connected. And then it's got these lights and you can actually change the pattern of these lights with an app. It's the Live All app. Uh, but I, I think this is kind of cool for commuters uh, or just riding on the road in general. And then to power the helmet off, you hold this down for about a second or two and it'll power off. To charge the helmet, <laughs> that just sounds funny, to charge your helmet, uh, there's a USB port right here. Now, as far as the fit, I actually think it's not that bad. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, it, you know, I normally run Euro helmets or Specialized, uh, but what I like about this is the visor. So I use this helmet mainly for gravel riding. And I like having a visor for gravel riding because I don't like the sun on my face for four or five hours. And so I like the visor. I think you can pop it off. I have not taken this visor off. I just has, have left it on. Uh, but also the style, so it's really not a bad looking helmet. And the fit of this helmet is, is really comfortable. Um, it's got a dial in the back so you can adjust the tension. Now this helmet came with a remote that you can put on your handlebars. The remote, I use this with an Android phone and the, there is an app and I'll show you the app. Uh, but the remote does not for some reason adjust the volume. I don't know if it's my phone or whatever, but uh, the remote will play and pause the music by hitting the center button. So it's not on now. If you tap it, it'll light up and that way you know it's on. If you want to skip back a song, you hit the up arrow and you hit the down arrow to skip forward in a song. I kind of think it should be these arrows for skipping music. Also on the remote is a photo button to activate the camera on your phone, but you have to have the app installed and you have to have the app open. So what this would be good for is if you're out on a ride and you want to take a group shot or selfie or whatever, just set your camera up. You can tap the button It'll open up your camera, and if you tap it again, it'll take a photo. So just kind of a little feature there if you wanted to use it. So because I can't get the volume buttons to work on the remote for me, I generally don't use this. I mean, it would go in your handlebar, but it sits up pretty high. But I just generally will use the buttons on the helmet because they're actually pretty easy to reach. Uh, they're, they've got a nice rubber feel to them. So... It, it, you know, I just, I just reach up and grab those buttons when I want to adjust the volume or skip music or, or even answer a phone call. So let me talk about that because that's actually a pretty cool feature of this helmet. So if I'm out on a ride, my wife calls me and I don't want to dig the phone out of my jersey pocket or out of my camelback, um, I will stop and hit the button, answer the call and talk. Now I do stop because the wind noise is a little bit too high if you're riding more than a couple miles an hour. Uh, and the microphone's pretty good. I've never had her complain about not being able to hear me and I can hear her just fine out of the speakers in the helmet. So now, let's talk about how the helmet sounds. For music, falls short for me. There's almost no bass at all. It's clear. Uh, the highs and mids are very clear. There's just no low range at all. So if you're the kind of person like me who has to have a full range of sound for music, uh, you're better off using earbuds. Uh, now, if you're the kind of person that just likes having music there, uh, you don't really care about how it sounds, then you would like it, I think, okay. Uh, now, what is kind of cool about it is the sound stage. So if you're familiar with headphones, 
open back headphones have really good sound stage. In other words, it doesn't sound like the music's in your head, but kind of around you. Uh, this helmet really sounds like the music is all around you. It's kind of a unique, uh, unique sound as far as that, but uh, I don't use it for music. But I'll tell you where this helmet rocks for me is on long gravel rides when I listen to podcasts. So I love listening to all kind of different podcasts or TED Talks or whatever when I'm on long solo rides. And to not have to use earbuds uh, is, is great with this helmet. And like I said, it's got the visor. It looks pretty cool. And I like that safety feature, the lights in the back. So I want to show just a couple things with the app. I won't go too much into this app, but it's got on the cycling tab where you can actually record a ride. So if you didn't use Strava and you wanted to start recording a ride, it would use GPS to record your time, distance, average speed, that kind of stuff. But what I want to show is if you go to equipment, so with the helmet and the controller on, you can see the battery level of each right there. So that's kind of neat. And with the helmet, if I go into the helmet, and I go to light settings, I can change some of the patterns of the light. So that's default. I can just click on flash and it'll flash like that. And then if I do slow flick, it just does a little bit different pattern. So this helmet is the Bling model. Livall makes several helmets. I've never tried the other ones, but this is the Bling model MT1. So in summary, the pluses for this helmet are the visor. The lights on the back is a safety feature. The comfort and fit is very good. The pads are very comfortable. Being able to use it for podcasts, being able to answer calls while you ride. Those are the pluses for this helmet. The misses for this helmet are the fact that you cannot adjust the volume on my phone, which is a Google Pixel 2 with the remote, and the fact that for music, there's no low end at all. Uh, and for me, that's a miss. For you, it may not be, but for me, it is. So there you go, a Bluetooth cycling helmet by Livall, the Bling Model MT1. Any questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.